answer fasting complete absence from eating any food or drinking liquid sometimes one can drink only uh, achit or previously boiled water this is known as upvas this is now how does this upvas versus a person who are not able to even earn just the food which you can eat that person is also doing the fasting but involuntarily okay because he doesn't have any money and there is no way he can get you no know, any kind of the food here so make sure you are you are doing the fasting with complete awareness when you aware it by what do i have to do in the fasting not just lie down on the bed uh, and uh, hope the day is over and uh, tomorrow no i'll do the parna and we plan about the parna like while doing fasting that is not the things whatever the time you have because of fasting you got lot more time than if you eat food then there is more time you are wasting for taking care of the digesting the foods and taking care of the you know uh, all the system the human body systems okay because of the food these are all the time you are going to save and you do more meditation with the with the fasting make sure ultimately you end up doing meditation okay meditate the even though you do samaik is not the thing samaik no you collectively together and talk about so many other subjects you think that samaik you do the samaik properly okay understand the qualities of the soul and ultimately can you concentrate on those qualities okay and that is the dhyan that is the meditation okay so that's the point i'm trying to say but most of the people are intelligent knowledgeable so i don't have to go into very you know minute detail about the but ansan or fasting whatever you do okay capable of doing it but use your time wisely for studying the religious or studying yourself okay for swadhyay helping others okay ultimately you use that time to improve your internal austerities that will ultimately improve your mind and uh, will help you to become more spiritual alpahar or vinodri this is the similar things it is the food but if you eat less than your hunger the thumb rule is like at least 10% less if in on the normal days on the normal days you can eat like 10% less than one's appetite then uh, you would be more awareness situation wise you will not be drowsy the drowsy thing occurs you no know, when you when you eat any juicy food or tasty food okay and then you stuff it prop okay and the more food what you are eating basically we whatever we eat less than 50% of that food or 50% of that food it is for us for nutrients for healthy other 50% we are using it for doctor so that we can you know, pay them right to you know, that that is the things most of the things occur because people eat junk food and stuff it all the time and creates significant problem you no know, health problem okay so unodri is a very virtue, good virtues like to have it on a daily basis let me eat less than what is my hunger is my hunger is 
and practice its self-restraint on persons. Just self-restraint. You got to have you no know, really control over yourself. Vrutti Sankshep, limit on foods and position. This is the kind of a external things which you can see it. That's why it is all external. Limiting the number of food items while eating. And again, don't think no or, or, or only the tasty food you are going to eat it and that's the limiting number and not the other way okay that is not the intent here that intent is any food with the tasty you no know, type you no know, taste type foods don't even eat it don't in don't take it only eat whatever number of food items you are going to have very healthy food ask yourself is it a healthy food or it is a junk food it's like you no know, any fried food when you cook the food at 300 to 400 degree temperature there is no nutrients left it is a charcoal chemically it is a co2 that's it it is it is a charcoal and that's what you are eating okay when you learn these things and don't eat it then you are your health is going to be improved there is no doubt about it okay rasatyaga elimination of a tasty foods complete absence of eating or drinking juicy taste food such as milk butter tea sweets fried foods you no know, snacks spicy foods okay, cookies whatever okay also one should eliminate junk food which has no little uh, which has little to no nutritional value these are the very common sense and rasatyag is the one like for when i become a vegan 25 years ago roughly okay when i say it oh everybody says there is no hinsa in milk there is no butter we are um, the unbelievable uh, opposition started it okay and they say how can you say you cannot do these things or you cannot do that one okay now i think people have a lot more knowledge they they, they understand it so the opposition is stopped but they are being you no know, like culturally programmed that they have to have a morning tea with milk regular milk okay nothing like that okay and on that ground they are eating all kinds of the uh, uh, milk or dairy products okay i mean nothing you can do you can educate them give it to them and hope one of these days they will understand it and I, I have a you know, similar situation with so many Maharashtras, okay? And uh, they say, you are doing such a great work, but why are you promoting these things? I said, well, it is my experience. I know what is in it. There are three rules. Even I have you know, discussed it with several Acharyas. And they don't accept it even. The law of nature, they could not accept it. I said, any mother produces the milk, whether it's a human or animal mother, produce the milk after baby is born. It's a law of nature. There is nothing you can do, okay, or, or nothing anybody else can do. Since they produce the milk after the baby is born, that means it was meant for the baby, nothing else. And the third, when baby don't, uh, when the baby started taking you no know, natural food, okay, then mother produces less milk. So the third law is 
mother only produces just enough for the baby, not more. So that's why any drop of milk, what you eat or drink, okay, dairy product, what you eat or drink, it is meant for the baby cow. You are stealing from the mother because she cannot produce more than what baby cow needs it. Unless you manipulate all hormones and you inject everything and we have used the cow's body like a machine, milking machine. And then you said, well, it is a extra milk after we given to the baby cow. I said, have you ever seen? Even the Tapovan society don't do it. I went and visited Tapovan with Chandrasekhar Maharaj Sahibs and everything. I don't know whether they know or not what the situation is occurring, but I have seen myself right in the Tapovan. They, they take the milk away first from the three udders. And after one udder milk, they give it to the baby cow. But first they take it, all three udders milk for, for the children who are studying there. Okay. That's how they do. I said, why are you doing first? Why don't you let the baby cow drink this milk first? And then leftover milk, you take it for our children. He said, are you crazy? Then this, there is no milk left. If I let the baby cow just go in, you know, let it go free. Cows will drink all, baby cow will take it, all that milk, all four udders milk, they will consume everything. There's nothing left. Then why should we have it, even the cows? There is no way. You, if you raise the cow properly, naturally, you are not going to find a drop of milk extra. But nobody wants to listen to these things. And if you don't want to listen it, no, I just stopped it. Even I said, well, I don't think I can discuss with you because the law of nature, you are denying it. Same thing with the human and same thing with the cows. And at least you got to understand that one. Maybe for some physical reason you are not able to implement, but don't try to protect it because then you are a liar. That's a simple thing. You are lying yourself. And these are the Acharya level monks, unless and until they are going to get convinced nothing is going to happen because they control the majority of the community. All right, so I'm um, less the say it is better, but I'm, I'm just trying to say, okay, go and experience yourself. Go and visit the dairy farm. I visited dairy farm in Vermont. And the day I visited, since that day onwards, I haven't touched milk. It's not like slowly, slowly I eliminated it. It's on one shot. And that's it. So this is the kind of the things you got to get convinced. I, I told even somebody, some one Maharaj Acharya said, oh, but Mahavir Swami drink here, okay, on the Parna, first Parna day. I said, Mahavir Swami cannot drink milk or any other products. He says, why? What makes you think, you know, that conclusion you draw? Because Mahavir Swami is the one tells us Rasatyak in the bio, six bio tops and six antar tops. It comes right in the Vitradhyan Sutra. And if a person teaches us in the sermon about the Rasatyak, and there is no exception there. Do you think, you know, he will drink kheer and milk product? I mean, Mahavir Swami cannot preach what he practices. All right. You don't have any principle that drinking milk is okay. You show me any, any Jain principles. Because this is a five sense animals you are hurting, killing. 
we, what we as a Sravak are allowed only for one sense, living beings, not for five sense like this. Because without that, we cannot survive our life. Anyway, so let's go further. Now, Kaya Klesh, this is another thing, okay, that you got to tune your body. One willfully subject oneself to the sufferings of the body. And this is the training period, like you subject yourself in the heat, you stand there for maybe five, 10 minutes and still, you know, you sense, you do it calmly and quietly without, you know, upsetting uh, that one. So that's the kind of experience to train your body subject to heat and cold and an, uh, another environment, raining days or anything like that. But make sure you watch your mind, okay? And see with the proper, thought proper process you are su suffering M no made your voluntarily enduring suffering that's why you're training your body so that in that situation occurs naturally later on okay you are still stable mind doing and suffering these things okay then the sanlinta giving up the pleasure of five senses what that doesn't mean you give up the pleasure but you make it internal when you are getting the pleasure external like whatever you do for five senses pleasure you listen the music or you no know, you watch movie or uh, any other uh, you no know, go on vacation it's all outside can you do it all these things by doing internal things and that is again, it's ultimately everything reduces to meditation. The meditation has the functional capability to give you real pleasure once you are practicing and joining that one. In my case, like I went to Vipassana, which I could not find any Jain meditation camp type things, you know, what you can do in Vipassana. I get significant benefit when you go and enjoy in doing that one, okay, on the Vipassana meditation. Because it teaches me how you, how you can live by yourself pleasantly. That is the meditation. You don't need a company for your pleasure, okay? Can you do it just by meditating? Okay, so that is the case is no that that's what the so you, you when you read all these descriptions, you will find it that okay, ultimately everything we wanted to uh, the directors get the all the happiness or pleasures internally from your own soul. Okay, because Ananta Darshan, Ananta Gnan, Anant Charitra means Anant Sukh. They are all in us, within us. And only thing we, we haven't experienced it. Okay. And that experiencing is the key things. Uh, that's what the you know, physical body gets ready. And then when you come to internal things, Okay, prayaschit, repentance for a 